Wow, look at all that green. Uh oh, what happened to the flowers? Wanna see what this one is? Oh, look at that, isn't that cool? Last time I did this, we basically mapped out the space and thought about how many things we want to plant. This time it's a little different because in the fall, and so there's only so, so many things you can plant. Mm -hmm. So I'll kind of go over like what is possible this okay. time of year. Yeah, I kind of um, try to look last night just to yeah. see. Yeah. So is there anything last night that you uh, are excited about? Yeah, I, well, I was thinking like acorn squash if that's easy. Or some sort of yeah. squash. Yeah. Some things are considered like frost hardy, so even when we get like below frost, like below 32 degrees, they'll survive. A lot of things will just completely die. Like squash is not. Um, squash is confusing. So winter squash is termed winter squash not because it grows in the winter, but because when you harvest the squash, it can be preserved through winter because it lasts oh, as a long okay. storage. So we don't necessarily have to do yeah, yeah. So okay. I thought it was because it was like a yeah, no, it, thing. and that's what I thought too. And it's actually it's kind of hard to find information about that. I mean, do you like beets? Yeah, yeah. Beets, beets. Rad, do you like radishes. Oh, uh, yeah. Not as much as the Not as ones. much. Have you ever tried watermelon radish? No. That's a cool I one. So. I have a bunch of seeds. Okay. That's a good one because it's a really mild flavor. It's like bigger. It's like this big. And then, um, what about lettuce? Do you like lettuce? Yeah, salad. Yeah. Salad greens is good time of year. You might still have time for some cucumbers. When you're a gardener, you learn like the first frost and the last frost. We got like 65 days. Okay. I have a couple ideas for like how to do the garden itself. We were thinking last night even, so say like this is our backyard that I showed you with the pictures, mm -hmm. and this is our house. We were actually thinking this space here has a lot more space. In the front? Yeah. Okay. And we're willing to do it there. Yeah, that works. We can either do, what I what I did with my sister-in-law is we just had the whole space was just like, like a little growing plot, like everything was just grown there. Mm -hmm. The other option, which... Well, they will both be the same amount of work. This, this option, yeah. the second option might actually be easier, is to, and I've done this before, so you like dig up the sod in the in the walking ways, and you flip it over, and just put it upside down on the growing place, and then okay. you just pour some fresh soil on top, so then it's like a bed ready higher. to go, oh, yeah. and it's higher. So the nice thing about flipping the sod is, you, d you disrupt the soil to a certain amount because you're digging it up but you're not like tilling it so you're not breaking all of that mm -hmm. there's lots of good stuff in the soil so my toddler is home and he'll probably want to try to help too and if he gets disruptive we can um pull him away but <laughs> that's partly why i want to start gardening too is he is a good eater but they say like if they're involved in oh totally gardening then they're more into it Watering, very important job.
Are these good for next year too? I know. Yeah, you can grab some if you want. Just things you see that you want to grow. Do you think this would be good to grow next year? Beauty squash? Yeah, I'm doing it. Okay, so you got your seeds. Yes. Yeah. They've got raspberries over here. They're 50% off. Yeah. Cat mint. Anything else you see that you? So they have like a raised bed mix. Maybe we could get like six. Do you think that would be good? Like, just get seeds for me. You've got seeds. Got your plants. Get the soil. Then we're good to go. The fencing is going to be the most expensive part, probably. It's crazy how much having a bunny in your yard can add up the cost of things. Topsoil? Um, no, um, the coast of Maine raised bed, two of the raised bed, the two cubic feet ones, and then two of those. Yeah, okay. and then four of the lobster compost, coast of Maine. Oh, oh, oh no! Ah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> That's the Huga culture bed, the one that um, I told you that I mm -hmm. started with the, whoops. This was all wood chips just on the ground. Mm -hmm. And there's the artichoke. Oh, cool. And then the onions and. I didn't know they grew so close to the surface. Let me see if I can find a ground cherry. It smells so sweet. Yeah. It tastes really sweet too. It's like a really, really cool. sweet cherry tomato or something. We'll grab wood chips. Said it was like about 10 feet and I think these are just about two two rows if that makes sense in each so I'm kind of just going to utilize square foot gardening this is the company I was telling you about portion okay. seeds this is another good company okay. all three of these companies somewhere. are good okay Vega Creek is heirloom, all heirloom seeds. It's in Missouri though, so it's not local. High mowing is fairly local, it's Vermont. And fruition is Naples, New York. So these two are good for our region specifically. Because Vermont, I mean, if it grows in Vermont, it's gonna yeah. grow here. 40 square feet of growing space. Look at these beautiful stars, I wanna drive a faster car. Nothing can break me, no, nothing can break me. Try not to hold me down, feel alive. vegetable garden now. So I just got home after for four or five hours working hard um, setting up a new garden for somebody. They have they have 40 square feet of growing space now. Two garden beds that are each 10 by about two. We planted carrots, beets, lots of greens, peas, some beans, some cucumbers. I will be back in about a week and a half to see how things have germinated, see if we need to plant anything else or fill in any gaps. Okay, you ready to give a tour of the garden? 
Tell me about the garden, Max. What are these? You don't know? Those are carrots over there. Yeah. Oh, there is more carrots over here. It's going to grow. It's going to grow, yep. And what are these guys? What are these? Do you remember? Cucumbers. These ones are cucumbers, remember? Should have practiced them. before, huh? I'm going to cook them. We're going to cook You're them. You're going to yep. cook the cucumbers. And do you remember what these are? And the cup these ones and the ones. Oh, cook them all? Okay. <laughs> The beans look good. Look yeah. at those guys. And they can grow, like they'll grab onto this too. Uh-huh. So well, they I was surprised how they like wrap around. Do you around. see how they've already started growing? Yeah. Yeah. Wrap around tight and then feed Yeah. Them. They look good too, and actually you can um you can eat the leaves of peas. Oh. So try it. It tastes just like peas. <laughs> yeah. It tastes like peas, but they're like a really good flavor. Mm -hmm. And then these are Oh that's with chard. They yeah. look like beets kale and then the the baby greens look really good yeah. everything looks good the basil. basil this is the asian spinach awesome i mean things germinated pretty well yeah i would say the carrots were the worst but that's very typical yeah. for carrots carrots Those are hard to grow carrots typically have bad germination yeah so it's been like three weeks now or maybe four since we did allison's garden and i'm coming back here today to see where things are at and kind of see if there's any troubleshooting we need to do and show you guys a tour, but it looks gorgeous, and I can't wait to show you what they have going on. Good things. Yeah. Are you are you excited about the garden? <laughs> yeah, I do want to see it. Wow, look at all that green. Uh oh, what happened to the flowers? It's okay. What did we find in the garden? What did we find? Oh, don't touch. It's okay. <laughs> what did you find? something whoa the spinach looks really good it looks so good oh look at these yeah that like that one's getting good. pretty close you could pull it out and see wait 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 you want to see what this one is oh, look at that isn't that cool yeah so they'll get like double in size but you can use it and they're oh, okay. really pretty on the inside any signs of beans yet so um, there's like a little baby one. Oh, see? oh look. So there's a baby one. bean. So they'll basically so right everywhere where you see the little purple. I didn't even notice them. Yeah. They'll create um, the green beans, and this will be ready in like they grow really well in this temperature. What? So in like a couple weeks, you're gonna have green beans like crazy. Yeah, it's a baby bean. What's that yeah, one, Matt? So. Leave that one alone. And the peas. And then I wasn't peas. sure if I need to find a way to let them go higher. Cold. And then the Swiss chard kale. Yeah, so you got Swiss yeah. chard, which looks great, and that will grow so fast. And may even overwinter, you may even get that throughout the winter. Same with this kale, you might oh, even have, you might even have okay. that through the winter. This looks great. It's yeah. like perfect. Did I know, you right? was, did you like thin it out? Oh, it's like a perfect. It's like a perfect oh, square until next. <laughs> Here, until you, you stepped on it. <laughs> but it will look beautiful again. Do you want to be but a yeah, dinosaur so over I here? I was gonna. Um, <laughs> I figured I might thin it out of like in the near yeah, future honestly, to make a salad. Like, even just like, yeah, thinning it out to eat it. Yeah, it's so pretty in here. Oh, yeah, this one is like perfect. But, but. And you can come in here um, and plant some more radishes if you want. So I ended up doing oh. this is the pak choy. Oh, the pak choy. Okay, I that makes a little sense. bit along here too. Perfect. So, I probably will make it like another gardener who got started and she talked to me a lot about how she hadn't started because she just didn't know where to start and so knowing that somebody was going to come and help her just get started was really what she needed and that's why I want to do this you know it's kind of crazy that I'm doing this when I have very little time but the idea of being able to help somebody learn to grow food and do it on their own is so motivating to me and encouraging to me that it's okay if my own garden's a little bit neglected it's okay if I run out of time to do my own things because this is gonna change people's lives and I'm really 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 happy to be a part of that <laughs>